Hello and warm welcome to Japan, to Okayama, for the third round of the GT Asia Championship 2013. There is no doubt these are the finest cars and some of the best drivers Asia's ever produced, driving these machines at some of the most technical and tricky circuits there are. This is the third round of the championship and it's holding up nicely already. Different conditions at every place we've been to so far. New cars, new driver lineups, and different balance once again for the third round. Which will be tricky around this tight Okiyama circuit. And with three rounds gone, it's China's Li Zikong who leads the way at the moment. He has 34 points, and the youngster is really making a name for himself against this very talented field. The 007, though, of Stefan Muth, the factory Aston Martin driver for Kraft Racing, has also made his mark in his rookie season here in Asia. He's teamed up with third place Frank Yu, and the combination has proved brilliant so far in Aston Martin's 100th year celebration. The Lamborghinis are still there, Tanku Haman Sulong of Malaysia and Clearwater Racing in fourth position. Still finding his way with the car at the moment. And likewise, the same for Roe Chalet. Former single-seater ace is right there in fifth place. The McLaren is new this year, but the champion is not. Mott went sunk. Clearwater Racing certainly bags of experience that McLaren will be winning soon. And he's also got a new teammate this weekend in Hiroshi Hamaguchi of Japan. And that's going to be an interesting play of the cards combination of these two very talented drivers. Plenty of racing in GTM class as well. But overall, in the Drivers' Championship, it's Lee Zikong who leads the way with 34 points. It's still close. Stefan Muk has 29. One point behind Frank Yu. And Kuhaman is equal as well. Charlie Rowe, Charlie, and then Mott Wen Sung. In the Teams' Championship, Clearwater Racing have 53 points, 10 ahead of Kraft Racing. Asia Racing Team has 34, and Team R8 LMS Ultra is just behind. So let's get down to qualifying for round three, and conditions much better and more favorable for getting decent lap times. As you can see clear blue skies. Thumbs up from former Formula One driver Alex Jung, his teammate, as everyone prepares, Marchie Lee included. What a talented field it's been this year so far. And we've got youth and experience out there. Lizzy Kong, the youngster from China. Marchi Lee, one of the most experienced drivers. And, of course, former Formula One ace, Alex Jung. Mok Wen Sung, the champion. It really is a host of superstars from the series. And more keep coming each week as well. We've got new entries coming in. We're about to go racing for round three. Rolling start, of course. And it will be... The Aston Martin that leads them all away. Here's the circuit. And the Okiyama circuit, 3.7 kilometers in length, 13 turns in all, but all very tight and technical. Very hard to overtake in these cars around this circuit. And as you can see, conditions dry. Perfect temperatures, really, for racing. And let's take a look at the grid. In pole position, it is Stefan Muke and Frank Yu in the 007. Ahead of Charlie Rowe and Tunku Haman. Then comes Alex Jung and Francis Hadiki Honda. They're starting to get the grips of that Audi. Marchi Lee just behind them with Jeffrey Lee in fourth position. Then there comes the McLaren of Hamaguchi and Mott Wensung from P5. It's going to be interesting to see what they can do from there. Chen Kong Fu in sixth position. Then Lee Zee Kong. Not qualified well, the championship leader for Asia Racing. Work to do. Starting from seventh place. So that's probably the biggest story of the weekend so far. P9 and it's Azuma and HH Racing leading the championship in GTM at the moment. A little further down, Wayne Shen, Keith Vong in 12th position in the number 15 Porsche. Good strong field. And a little further down, Mima in 13th position, Jackie Young in 14th position, John Shen in 15th, and Shim Ching in 16th position in the Porsche. 
Remember, two classes, rolling start. Stefan Muke were on board with as he looks back from the Aston Martin at those trying to chase him down into that first corner. It's going to be an exciting start here. Perfect conditions for racing. Lights are out and away we go. They go to green. The McLaren dives to the inside and looks for the inside start. Ockman Sung looking for a chance to overtake. This is the view that Stefan Muke has as everybody tries to clamber all over him. A little touch there, but it's the Lamborghini that slots into second place. Charlie Rowe on board now with Azuma for AJH Racing. Kohiro's Azuma has had a great run so far. And looking to do the same here in the third round held in Japan. All the races so far in Japan. And up the inside goes Azuma. He's made up one place already. He's fighting hard in the early stages. Great start. And Muke leads from Charlie Rowe. Then it's Alex Jung in third place. No big change there. It's the McLaren that's coming through. But Botwin Sung up to fourth place already. He got past Marchie Lee in fifth. And Kong Fu is in sixth position at the moment. Here's another look at the start. It was good driving by Muke. A lot of pressure on the inside there. The McLaren got squeezed. He's got a really good start, did Mark. Here's Marchie Lee losing out. He got to the outside. There's just nowhere to go this tight circuit once somebody gets up the inside of you you have to bide your time or take each other out so then the Aston Martin pulling away at the front well and there's the first crash of the day and it's Bima in the Porsche just getting it wrong the number 19 into that left hander too hot there very wide on the entry and it spins him around as we take a look at Keith Bond going strong in the number 15 we'll take a short break we'll right back Welcome back to Okayama in Japan, where the German Stefan Muke, the factory driver for Aston Martin, is leading this Asian field, led by Ro Chalet and Alex Jung. And some movement as well. Remember, pit stop is mandatory. They have to come in. Lisa Kong down in seventh position, and that's the real big news story because, of course, he was leading the championship after two rounds and needs a good result here. But he's struggling somewhat after qualifying. Obviously, ballast is a situation. The more success you get, the more weight you get put on the car, and it's how you deal with it. Plus, if you don't qualify well, very few places to overtake here. Back on board with Azuma. Ferrari, whoa, just misses. One of the Audis spinning in front of him. That was excellent driving. He needed a deft touch there. Stephen Muke on board with him. Beautiful sounding Aston Martin. Been a real revelation since he arrived in Asia. A real surprise though, bags of experience. He's the factory driver for Aston Martin. He'll be driving all around the world for them. Recently drove at Le Mans. And there's Lise Kong for the first time, seeing a glimpse of him in the number two. Fastest lap though, 133.072. He's stretching the legs on that Aston Martin now. Ahead of Frank Yu of Craft Racing. And the idea is obviously in this series you've got professionals like you and you've got Frank Yu who are semi-professionals, so the idea is that the professionals do the faster lap. Me might get getting in trouble, or is it Wayne Chen coming past him? So still struggling, I think. Wayne Chen easily passed. See the speeds they're going there. But uh, yeah, Frank Yu, who's waiting to drive, of course, will want the biggest lead he can possibly get, because he's not expected to be as fast as Stefan Mew. So that's what it's all about. And not all of the cars have Extra drivers, some of them will do the whole stint. Much better showing from Rochale. Came into this championship as Ship Ching of IMS spins around in the Porsche. Use that often this track, and I think that might be a problem in terms of grip when they're pushing anyway. And look at this, Alex Jung looking up the inside of Rochale and the Lamborghini, and they touch. Alex Jung very aggressive in the Audi. All right, they've not had a good start to the season. The former Formula One star. And he's definitely putting some big pressure. Now, the pit window is open. Here's another look at it. Well, certainly no foul from Charley there, for sure. Everybody else watching it as well, just as we do. Teammate to Alex Jung. I think you're on that, watching on. And here's a chance to pass from six. It's Chen Kong Fu for the Team R8. And that was done very nicely indeed. He just needs to hold it tight. He does so. And that was an excellent overtake. So, it's Mu. 
Rochale, then Alex Young, still in third position. No one's pitted yet. Mott Winsung up to fourth after that good start. Chen Kong Fu is up to fifth at the moment, ahead of Marchi Lee. Just made that pass a moment ago. So, a bit of a struggle here for Marchi in the Audi himself at the moment. Still trying to get the balance right with that car. Dealing with the weight. And uh, Amaguchi coming in now and will change with Mott Winsung. Meanwhile, Stefan Mute continues to drive through traffic, and that may not be the best of ideas. He should come in, I think, because he's only going to slow himself down. Hiroshi Yamaguchi then coming in, and Mock straight to him. And it's going to be an interesting second stint for this McLaren number one. Meanwhile, back with the number 888 of Alex Young, Philippe Decon, the team manager, the French driver himself. Watching on, great experience both in the driver's seat and on the pit wall. Alex Young pushing very hard indeed. I think uh, the Audi just handles a little bit better in these tighter circuits. Out goes the McLaren. Of course, the Lambo is a big, very powerful car. Not that they all are, but uh, I think it's just less nimble in tighter corners than perhaps the Audi. Lizzie Kong coming in from seventh position championship leader. Out goes Mark in the McLaren. 13th he rejoins. And Mute, there's the gap. There's the lead. Still to come in. Akira for Atsuyama Racing. Nice move up the inside. Neatly done. And Lee Kong waiting for his pit stop. They said an allocated time. They must not be too quick out of the pits. They've got to get it right or they'll get penalised. They're going to drive through penalty. They don't stay in the pits the full length of time. Lisey Kong driving on his own, of course. So he'll do that second stint now. When's Rochale coming in? Not yet. Mott Wensung in eighth position already. Siding through the field as the pit stops shuffle in. Wonderful shots here. Beautiful day for racing. And a great circuit. The driver's really enjoying this circuit, especially the conditions we've had. Torrential rain. Previous to this, Matigi. So go back on board with the man in second place. See how much he's working in the car to direct that steering wheel to make sure the slight adjustments just make the difference. Here comes the GTM class Azuma. One last time out of Matigi in the 458. Through goes the McLaren. And this is interesting. We've got the Lamborghini, the Audi, and the McLaren right next to each other on track and will this be Mute coming in yes it will surely and Frank Yu now has the job to do he's done an excellent job as the German of getting this car far enough ahead for Frank and I'm sure the instruction will be just to hold station try to keep that gap Philip Maher in sixth place in the pits as well here comes the Aston Martin big job on for Frank Yu but he's up to the task he's really improved as Frank and this combination is proving to be very potent indeed. Rochale comes in from second place. So too Alex Young. Thank you, Haman Sulong is in. Ro has a quick look at the car, but no problem. McLaren out fighting with traffic. Mott Winsung trying to side his way through. He's fifth at the moment. The Singaporean current champion. Out comes Marchi Lee. Good stint by him. He'll be disappointed with that. He wants to be at the front, as Marchi Lee. He always has been that kind of competitor. And you can't blame him. Frank Yu in the car and ready to go. Out he goes now in the 007. And really, like I said, the instructions will be maintain the gap, if you can, to those chasing. Alex Jung out of the car as well. That famous helmet of his. Frank Yu in the Aston Martin accelerates away now with the lead. Stefan Mute sits back and relaxes to watch the action as we will do after this break. Welcome back and as you come back a big spin by Billy Fung and he's been caught out on that right hand and kind of sucks you in to being faster and it's so easy to get wrong 
Spins around his Audi, but he's okay. Meanwhile, the two Porsches, Michael Green, in fact, one of the new drivers for direction racing from New Zealand. Got plenty of experience here in Japan. Drives in the Porsche Carrera Cup, Japan. He's had some great results there over the last few years. Back with Frank Yu on board with him. And Yu needing to side his way through the traffic in the closing stages. He's done a really good job so far. Stefan Mew, his teammates set him up well. And here's that battle for fourth place now between Jeffrey Lee and Mok Wen Sung. Mok, obviously, the professional and the champion, will want to get past the gentleman driver, just as Frank Yu is doing in the 007. Having said that, Michael Green is just as experienced. Hamaguchi watching on, and oh, Mok getting into trouble with Jeffrey Lee. Well, I know he was getting frustrated with Lee, but uh, that was a muscle move. And I'm not so sure Jeffrey Lee did anything wrong there. And that's a real shame. Luckily, no harm done, though, but that could have ended in disaster for both drivers. Let's have another look at it. Yeah, I mean, really, there's not a lot of room for Mock to get through there, and he had to literally bounce over the curbs, bounce over Jeffrey Lee's car to get past. But he's done it all the same. Naru of Age Age Racing in the number 70 Ferrari. Thumbs up from him and his teammate, Azuma. Yes, they are first in GTM. So two classes. And meanwhile, Jeffrey Lee now got Lee Z Kong all over the back of it. This is the battle for fifth and sixth. Lee Z, Lee Z Kong needs these points. Now let's see where he goes for the overtake. On the straight, makes more sense. And sure enough, powers through the Chinese, past the Audi. And that's a much better overtake. Through he goes, into fifth place then. Closing stages of this one. And a drive-through penalty for the number 11. Oh, that's disaster for Tanku Haman, Sulong and Rochale. Because because they've been going so well, they were surely on for a podium. And now, I believe it's for speeding in the pit lane during their pit stop. And they've got to come in and do that drive-through penalty. Through goes Motman Sung. There's the number 888 of Alex Jung and Heidi Onda. That's a painfully slow drive through the pit lane for the number 11. What a day. Uh, bit of disappointment for them that was going so well. And I don't think they'll recover from that in the time they've got. Through goes the number 7. Marchi Lee and Jeffrey Lee. Quick chat and handshake from Alex Jung and Rochale. Just having a chat about their battle for second and third they were having. Two very, very experienced drivers. And the big thing they were concerned about this weekend was balance. Because the car with a full fuel load brakes differently, acts differently. And it really is quite sensitive to those changes in ballast as well. Getting it wrong almost there on the last lap. A little bit of a moment there. I think distracted by the Ferrari. And Frank Yu just has a slight moment into the first turn. But he gathers it all together. And he's done a brilliant job so far. I'm sure the heart will be pumping a little bit. He doesn't want to mess this up, that's for sure. This has been an excellent day for the man from Hong Kong. Finally gets past the Ferrari in a clearer space. And gets to concentrate on the rest of this last lap. Good day's racing, though. Also for Francis Hadiki Honda and Alex Jung. That's going to be their first podium. They can start the season that well. And finally, they've got something to celebrate. But out of the last corner comes the 007 Aston Martin to Frank Yu. Stefan Mute did the hard work at the start. Frank Yu's kept it all together and kept it tidy. And that's a win for Aston Martin in Asia, in GT Asia, round three. Congratulations to Craft Racing then. A good win from them. Good day at the office, so to speak. And a good battle also. In the closing stages for third, fourth, Alex Young delighted with that podium. Good to see that smile back on his face. There you go. And Frank Yu then. That's a very, very accomplished win for him. He'll be very pleased with that. Confirmation of the results. Stefan Muke and Frank Yu. Hamaguchi and Mock taking second place ahead of Alex Young and Honda. Lizzie Kong in fourth position. So he did get through ahead of Marchi Lee and Jeffrey Lee. Rochale and Haman after that penalty finished sixth place. Yeah. <laughs> I'm delighted, Frank Yu says, yeah, it's thanks to the car, not me. Yeah.
<laughs> and this is proving to be quite a package. A Japanese and a Singaporean, and once again GTM class. Slightly disappointed, Marchi Lee. Sportingly applauding his rivals, but he so wants to be up there with them. So congratulations then to Aston Martin here in Asia. Storming away here in 2013. And there's a long way to go yet. So let's head down to the press conference and hear from the top three, starting with the winner. Beginning it was all right, but after a few laps, you know the, the extra 30 kilos uh, doesn't help the, to save the tires. Yeah, it makes our life really hard. Uh, we had to fight quite hard with the car, uh, uh, especially the rear tires dropped down a little bit. And uh, so I'm really proud of Frank that he kept the car on the track because it wasn't easy out there. It wasn't easy. I mean, I overshot. Uh, I think second to the last lap uh, into turn one and almost went into the gravel. So. Uh, yeah, it was a big moment, but um, held it together, and uh, so we'll see about tomorrow. In second place, McLaren number one, Bob Winston and Hamaguchi. And once it started, I just tried to follow Audis, and, and, and Stefan is gone, so I just focused on Audi and Charlie uh, Lambo. Um, I struggled on tyres um, after fifth lap. But um, I, I managed to follow those guys and, and hand it over to the car, um, the car to win. The, um, yeah, with, with Jeffrey, I caught up to him on, on turn five. I had a good run coming up the hill down the long straight. And uh, we were side by side going to the braking zone and he was coming to the right side. And uh, I had nowhere else to go. And I was hoping he would give me one, one car width as a minimum, but I'm not sure I got exactly that one car width. So we were side by side and we just had side contact. Yeah, but uh, n neither of us spun. It was, it was okay. And in third place, the Audi R8 LMS Ultra of Alex Young and Nikki Honda. I knew the first step I was very open to attacks from the others. I couldn't quite get Charles in turn one in the Lamborghini. So coming down the, the first lap, um, McLaren went by me. So I knew I had to outbreak him to the hairpin, managed to do that, keep third place. The racing today was probably the most easiest drive that I had. Um, the practice was most, more difficult because I was get, getting things wrong. So uh, I really enjoyed. Um, well, of course, I was given a golden spoon by Alex, so, uh, but I had to maintain its brilliance. And I'm happy to say I was able to do that. And in the GTM class, something for the Japanese photographers to get excited about. And well, they might. Azuma and... Naru in the 458, getting a great result for Ferrari and for Japan in the GT. So congratulations to them, Wayne Chen also up on the podium. Still a long way to go yet, have a look at the Drivers' Championship now. After three rounds, Aston Martin, 48, but look, Frank Hughes right there with him, 46. Lizzy Kong, 44, Mark Winston, 42, it's very tight at the top. Dale row in 36 points, likewise Tanku Haman. And then the team's championship, Clear Water Racing, have 77 points. The Craft Racing, 61. Team R8 LMS Ultra are coming now with 55. They didn't start so brightly, but now they're ahead of Asia Racing Team here after three rounds. So, good weekend so far. Perfect conditions, and I think we started to see the best out of the gentlemen drivers, and the professionals are guiding them well here in GT Asia 2013. I'm Jonathan Green. Until next time, goodbye for now.